Welcome to this member requested tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be creating this easy animated eroded text. So let's roll the intro and let's get to work. This is a member requested tutorial. This is a member requested tutorial. So at the Sorcerer 3101, who is a member requested this tutorial to, uh, create a text, something like this. He sent this example and one, you can see they kind of used uh, some text that was a little eroded anyway. So if you got a text that looks like this, you can use it, but remember you can only use uh, text that on your system. So we'll probably just be using Arial and making it a little eroded ourselves. But if we look at this example, all it is is uh, some text. You can tell they've got like a mass to kind of mass some of this out and erode it out. It comes in from the top and the bottom fades in and uh, drops in and then uh, our text shrinks a little bit and that is it. And to me, this looks like uh, an old effect they used to have in Adobe Premiere when I used it years ago. I remember they had this drag and drop effect that was this, I believe, because it looked exactly like this. But if you would like a tutorial like at the Sorcerer 3101 requested, you'll just have to become a member and you can become a level one, two or three member. Just know I take priority for level three members and then level two members and then level one. But you can jump at the top or use the link in the description, become a member. And as always, remember to like and subscribe so we can build this channel. So jumping in, we're going to start from scratch. So first thing we're going to need is a text node. So I'm just going to drag in a text node. And on our text node, let's go ahead and write our text. So this is the text. I'm just making it all caps. And let's go ahead and select Arial since I'm assuming everybody has Arial. And I'm going to change it from bold to black. And let's increase our size up a little bit. So this is the final size we want. And we do want to change our tracking. So if we go to say, uh, Frame 25, we can keyframe our tracking. If we go to the beginning, we can uh, widen it a little bit. So now our text is animated like that. So just our tracking is changing. We're not gonna change the size. And to be able to get our animation effect, all we really need to do here is if we go to our text, we right click in our little text area here we can select follower. And you notice it just created a modifier. So if we go to our modifiers, we go over to our shading and we just uh, keyframe the things we want to keyframe within our modifier. So we know we want to change our opacity. So we're going to go ahead and keyframe that. And we're also going to want to make sure we keyframe our Y offset. But I'm going to do this where I actually want my zero. So we're going to go to say frame eight. And this is where I want my uh, offset to be at zero. And as soon as I click that, you notice it went to these path controls. So we can just double click back on this follower to get back into that. If we go to our position, we go to our first frame, we can drop this down to where we want. So let's say uh, minus 1.7. And we're going to start right there. So now if we play, you notice our text goes up. But we want this to happen on individual characters. So if we go to our timing under a range, we're going to leave it on all characters on our order. We're going to go to random, but one by one in between each character. And we're going to change our delay to uh, say maybe two. So now if I push play, you can see it's going up letter by letter. And one other thing we got to do is we got to change our opacity. So if we go back to our shading, and back to our properties, we can uh, make sure we're on that keyframe of where all of our letters are supposed to be up. We're going to go ahead and uh, create a keyframe right there. We're going to go back and we're going to drop this down to zero. So now we get that. But we can make this a little more interesting. So if we go back to our beginning one, and let's uh, drop back down to our position. And we're going to go ahead one keyframe. And since I want it to bounce up, I'm going to go to uh, 0.8, make that 0.08, because that was a little far. I'm going to go to my next keyframe, hit minus 0.05, go to my next keyframe, and hit zero. 
So now we uh, should get a little, little bounce. Just like that. And if we want to smooth some of that stuff out, all we have to do is uh, we can go to our little spline editor here. And if we uh, just make sure we've got our text and then make sure we're only doing our uh, little offset here, we can select all our keys, right click. We can go to ease in out cubic. So now if we play, it's a little smoother. So that's our general text. So next thing we have to do is we want to uh, create this erosion effect. So what we need to do first is hit shift space and we're gonna add an erode dilate. So let's find where our text is in and uh, I'm gonna erode this down a little bit. And let's just get a solid number. So let's say uh, minus 0 0.006. So we'll go there. So let's go to the beginning. We're going to add a keyframe and whenever our letters are about in ish and not moving anymore, let's add another keyframe, but we're going to make this uh, zero. So it's not eroding at all. So now we kind of got that growing <laughs> our little eroded text, but we want to chop this up a little bit and we can do that with the fast noise. So let's go ahead and add a Shift space, fast noise. Here we're going to bring our text in and then from our fast noise into our erode and dilate. And on our fast noise node, we're going to dial in some of this stuff. So let's go like 2.7 ish. And uh, our contrast, we, we kind of want up there pretty high. And our brightness, we want at one. In our scale, we're going to knock up to uh, like 18 ish. And let's add a little seethe to it. And our seethe rate, let's make a 0.15. So now we've got it moving around a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and select discontinuous. So it's not everywhere. So now if we look at our font, you can see we've, we've kind of got these little uh, things going around here. And uh, if we hit shift space and add an alpha multiply, it'll kind of clean some of that stuff up a little better. And I think we got some issues with our erosion. So let's go back to erode and dilate and let's change this from box to uh, circle. And then let's look and uh, that's a little better. But now after our alpha multiply, if we add a uh, edge detect, let's go to our edge detect node. And uh, let's go ahead and push play. You can see those edges are uh, helping with our little erosion a little better. But what we could do is we can animate this as well. So when it starts popping in, we uh, want to keyframe this, but we're going to drop it to zero. If we go in the beginning, let's erode it up a little bit. So now we've got this erosion effect. And then to fix with some of that black that's in there, we can uh, select edge mask overlay. And then to help pump this up a little better to clean some of that stuff up, we can uh, grab a merge and put our original to the background, our edge tech to the foreground. And if we look now, our text kind of looks like this. So with our text all nice and done, we can select it all, hit control G and we're going to hit uh, F2 and we're going to rename this to font, font bottom. Hit control C, control V. We're going to rename this to font top so we can just reuse this to create our top text and to be able to change that all we have to do is uh, let's go ahead and first grab a merge bring this in the background this into the foreground let's open up our top font 
if we double click our text, go over to our modifiers, go to follow right here, and then go to our shading tab. Wherever our positions are, we just have to reverse them. So let's go to the very beginning. And instead of negative, we're gonna make that positive. Go to our next one, make this negative. And there we go. So now if we look at our merge, we've got our text coming from the top and the bottom, but it kind of looks like a mirror. So uh, we need to fix that. So what we can do is double click on our font top again, double click on our text, go to our modifier, double click our follower, and let's go to timing. And down here under order, we're just gonna put completely random and we're gonna change this to uh, 1.9 maybe just so it's off a little bit. So now if we look at our merge and we play it, we don't have the exact same letters coming in all the time. Now for the other look, we need to go ahead and add some fast noise so we can add some noise to this to kind of glitch it out or to kind of erode it out. So let's go ahead and uh, bring in the background. Let's bring in the merge. Bring us to the back, bring our font to the front. So now we've got some black. So there we go. And I just noticed there's one other thing we probably want to add because we really don't have any motion blur going on. So we could double click this font bottom. And if we go to uh, our text and go to settings, select motion blur. Now we're getting some motion blur. And if we uh, increase our quality there a little bit, we can get better motion blur and we can uh, change our shutter angle to give us a little more. And there we go. So we got uh, five and 261. So if we open our top, go to our text, go to our settings, motion blur, five, and uh, we got 261. So now they're both about the same. So now we've got some motion blur on our text. And if you want to increase the quality more to get rid of some of that, uh, those lines that are in there, you can, but that's good. So to be able to get some of this glitchiness or some of this erosion going on, let's bring this back. Let's go ahead and grab another fast noise. And we're going to uh, input it. And uh, let's go ahead and look at our fast noise. And we're gonna change our detail to like 10. Our contrast is not up high enough. So we're just gonna type in uh, 29 cause we really want that up there. In our brightness, we're gonna crank to one. In our scale, we can bring up to like 18 ish. So it's pretty big. We're gonna add some seethe and we're gonna change our seethe rate up to uh, like 0.09. Let's see how that looks. There we go. And to round some of this out, we're just going to uh, select the blur tab, look at our blur, and we're going to uh, blur it up a little bit. So now if we look at our text, you can see it's uh, kind of chopped up, eroded out, but uh, we need to control how long this erosion is happening. So how to do that is we can go back to our fast noise, and go under our color. And whenever we want this to start kind of going out, we can add a keyframe. Change our alpha. There we go, that seems a little fast. So let's uh, delete this one. Let's bring that in. Now we'll push play. And there we go. We've got an easy eroded animated text. I will see you in the next tutorial.